What's going on, my friends, my family, my fellow gamers? This is your boy, Port Rock 77 your only friend in these YouTube streets. Now, I think by now a lot of you are seeing the Spartacus pricing rumors um, circulating among the community. For those of you who aren't, who don't know what Spartacus is, it's apparently a, a project code name for how Sony's going to handle um, combining PS Plus with their PS Now service into a one unified name service. Again, Spartacus is the project name, so the official name we don't know. And it's supposed to be three tiers. The first tier is similar to the PS Plus that we have now. The second tier, whatever it's gonna be called, is um, a combination of PS Plus, plus the ability for downloadable PlayStation 4 games and maybe PlayStation 5. And then the third tier, which is the highest tier, is all of that, plus cloud, plus, you know, being able to play classic games and free game trials and all this other stuff, right? And it's supposed to be a monthly pricing scheme. Now, I'm going to talk about the pricing scheme. I'll probably save that for the podcast on Tuesday because I would like to have more opinions rather than my own. But right now, I want to discuss the fact that I'm seeing within the Xbox community I don't want to say a celebration, but they're, it's kind of like, kind of like this, they're using this as a sign of validation of what they've been preaching. And, 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 and I'm not sure what they find as validating. Sony's not creating anything new. PS Now has always been, well, not always, but it's always been a sub subscription service going back to when it first launched. When it first went into beta in 2014 and launched in 2015, primarily for streaming games. And then I think around 2018, they added the capability um, to play the PlayStation 4 games directly downloadable onto the console via just streaming. So the capability has always been there. Sony's not adding anything new. But yet Xbox community is using this, some members in Xbox community, using this to validate Game Pass. And I don't understand what's there to validate. Game Pass is just simply a service where you pay a monthly fee to access content. I don't think there's anybody that doesn't understand the concept of that. I think everybody understands that. Um, there's a lot of gamers that are addressing what they have issues with subscription service. We're not going to rehash that. But I will say it's 2022. Game Pass been out in 2017. You should go about 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I think officially launched in June. So you're about five years in, almost five years. If you still, after five years, have to go on podcasts or push out Twitter, trying to convince people who don't really care about Game Pass or care about subscription services in general, that it's validated then maybe the service isn't as great as you think. Maybe there's a point in time that the conversation of value and how much money you save dies out. You know, I mean, perfect example. And this is what I mean. Take Disney Plus. Disney Plus came out like, what, three years ago, 2019, whatever. When they first mentioned Disney Plus, they talked about how you're going to have all the Pixar movies or Pixar content, Disney content, Star Wars content. Marvel content, all in one service. They mentioned you're gonna get new content, you know, um, Star Wars shows like The Mandalorian, um, you know, uh, Marvel shows, you know, like WandaVision, all that great content stuff, right? And then at times, you know, especially during COVID, day and day movies, but with an extra feed, the premium access, right? So they have all these things. And in the beginning, People saw it as, man, that's great price. All this Disney contents, all Disney classic movies, classic cartoons, especially from Marvel, like Spider-Man, X-Men, you know, all that stuff. Shows, movies, great value, lots of content. Star Wars, Marvel, Pixar, I mean, it, it goes on, right? But after a couple of months, people stopped talking about the value behind Disney Plus because it's whatever. We got it. You don't have to talk about it for five years. At that point, it's just a conversation of content. And what quality content are you watching? What quality content is there and available to watch? 
But here you are with Game Pass, people still talking about value and that the fact that they're still only paying 14 bucks or 15 bucks a month. Like, okay, we got it. It's been five years. Nothing's really changed, right? But when you got content like Rainbow Six Extraction, which a lot of people say sucks, Crossfire X flopped, Stalker delayed, Redfall, no one's even sure when that's coming out. When stuff like that's happening, then I could see why in 2022, people are doing weird things, like still talking about value, you know, and how they're only paying 50 bucks a month and how they're trying to use Spartacus to validate their choice. Listen, if you're on Game Pass, you're on Game Pass. You don't have to keep talking about it. I mean, if you want to, you do what you want. But for those of us that don't really care about subscription for subscription services, you're not going to like change our minds all of a sudden. We get it. You're paying 15 bucks a month. Good for you. That's your money. You do what you want. But most of the conversations we want to have is what games are you beating? What games are you playing? And a lot of you dudes on Game Pass don't like to show your game attack because you're not really playing the amount of content you claim to play. You have access to all these 400 games. But you ain't really showing what you're playing or beating. You usually just download it, dibble dabble on something for five minutes, you know, paraphrase, you know, exaggerating a bit, but you know, you dibble dabble and then you delete and install. You don't really dedicate to playing to the games. But whatever, I digress. I just find it weird that that's what's happening. People still trying to validate their choice on how they want to play games or how they pay games in 2022 when we should be talking about content and what we're actually playing. You know, whether you do it through Game Pass or whether you pay for it or hell, whether you borrow the game, got to use or got to do Gamefly, regardless of how, what, regardless of the monetization method that was used to get access to the game, what games are you playing and are you actually beating it? Or are you going to brag that you've been only paying $14 a month in 2025? Are we still going to see this in 2026? Come on now. It's just weird. Just weird energy. Got it. You guys don't want to pay $60 games or you want to choose whatever. It doesn't matter. But what games are you playing? Like, what games are you beating? You know? Anyway, this is your boy, Porter Rock 77. You let me know what you think in the comment section. Is this this weird energy that they constantly trying to validate their choice to play on Game Pass? I don't know. You let me know. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hit the like button. And this Tuesday, 60 frames, no lag, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. But we'll talk a little bit more about the rumors behind Project Spartacus and maybe some other topics. We'll see. Okay? Well, again, see you Tuesday. This is your boy, Porter Rock 77 your only friend in these YouTube streets. And I'm out of here. Peace.